Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Women's World. Today we'll be dedicating this edition of the program to a very important event that is taking place here in Egypt, particularly in Sharm el-Sheikh, under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, uh, who inaugurated the 38th World Radio Communication Conference, WRC. A very important uh, event uh, that uh, is taking place here in Egypt uh, and we'll be discussing uh, the conference, the importance of holding this conference conference in Egypt and of course telecommunication sector here in Egypt as a vital sector and uh, also uh, we'll be featuring a special report about the event and we'll be discussing uh, the uh, the main topics of the conference with our guest uh, Mrs. Nirmin Edward professor of telecommunication and uh, also we'll be uh, checking the latest news concerning women a short break and we'll be right back to check out today's press Our uh, first headline uh, reads, Architect Shahira Fahmi wins Tamayu's Excellence Award nine, uh, 2019. Tamayu's Excellence Award, established in 2012, is an independent initiative that aims at advancing the profession of art architecture, both academically and professionally. In 2013, Tamayu's Excellence Award became the first ever award in the Middle East to have a dedicated award for women in architecture and construction. The awards are open to architects, academics, and students all over the world. And uh, with more good news for women moving on to sports, a swimmer Suhair al attar wins silver, me silver medal in the World ma uh, Masters in Korea. The swimmer and uh, pathology professor Dr. Suhair al attar who is 74 years old of Al uh, Gazira Club, won the silver medal in the women's 200 meters backstroke age group 70 to 75 in the world masters 2019 held in korea uh, in 2019 in the same championship she won fourth place medal in 400 meters freestyle 50 meters backstroke and 100 meters backstroke And uh, the Egyptology unit at the American University in Cairo is organizing an international conference on women in ancient Egypt from the early dynastic through Coptic period. The Women in Ancient Egypt Current Research and Historical Trends Conference, the first of its kind in Egypt and the Middle East, speakers will discuss topics relating to women and law, the portrayal of women in literature and women's uh, cultic participation in access to power. And finally, Nurhane Rifai, famous Egyptian mountaineer, will be attempting history by conquering Everest Summit, the top of the world, on May 2020. Nurhan will be the first Egyptian woman to climb Everest, and she is currently in a strenuous training plan led by the daring Egyptian adventurer and Everest summiteer, Sharif al -Abd. President Abdel Fattah Sisi inaugurated on Monday the 38th World Radio Communication Conference, WRC. Addressing the inaugural session, President Sisi welcomed the participants and said that the conference reflects the progress of human civilization. We have more details on the conference in this report. Sharm el-Sheikh hosts the Third World Radio Communication Conference, WRC, to be held for the first time in 20 years outside the International Telecommunication Union, ITU headquarters in Geneva. The event will run from the 28th of October to the 22nd of November. 
more than 3,500 participants from 140 countries and more than 50 ministers and deputy ministers from around the world participate in the conference, in addition to more than 50 companies and international organizations working in the field of telecommunications. President Abdel Fattah Sisi is expected to participate in the official opening of the conference on the 28th of October 2019. At least 1,000 specialized research papers will be discussed at the conference. The event is organized by the Ministry of Communications and Information the National Telecommunications Regulatory Authority and Telecom Egypt in cooperation with South Sinai Governorate. World radio communication conferences are held every three to four years. The WRC reviews and sometimes revises radio regulations, the international treaty governing the use of the radio frequency spectrum, and the geostationary satellite and non-geostationary satellite orbits. Revisions are made on the basis of an agenda determined by the ITU Council, which takes into account recommendations made by the previous WRC events. Back, ladies and gentlemen, the World Radio Communication Conference 2019 WRC uh, opened today in Sharm el Sheikh and will be sponsored uh, by President uh, Abdel Fattah Sisi. Uh, in order to discuss the importance of this event, we're very much delighted to have with us Mrs. Nermin Mehir Edward, Professor of Telecommunication. Thank you very much, Mrs. Nermin, for joining us today. Thank you for, uh, for you. I'm, I'm really happy to be with you today. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Nermin, the conference is held for the first time in 20 years outside the International Telecommunication Union ITU headquarters in Geneva. So what is the significance of holding such an event in Egypt, in Sharm el-Sheikh in particular, at this particular uh, time? Uh, I believe that nowadays uh, all the world uh, see Egypt in a different place. Mm. Uh, Egypt now has a very bright future, mm. uh, especially in telecommunication. Uh, Egypt now focus on uh, the digital transformation. Mm. Uh, for uh, the government uh, associations uh, and especially uh, this year is very special for Egypt as it's uh, been uh, the head of the, of the African uh, Union mm -hmm. yes. and of course after uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi is elected he's working very hard uh, toward our country and, uh, and to develop the infrastructure mm. And also, uh, he is uh, doing uh, great co uh, relationships with uh, not only the African countries, but all, all the countries around the world. Yes. So uh, that's very important for Egypt. Uh, and uh, already we started here in Egypt uh, new cities, the, f uh, the smart cities in the new capital mm. and also in New Alamein. Okay. Um, held every three to four years uh, since uh, 1992, the WRC is one of the most important international forums organized by the International Telecommunication Union, ITU. Now, how do you see that? How do you see the importance of, of the event as an international event? Uh, the main objective of this uh, conference or this event is to promote the development of telecommunication uh, networks and access to telecommunication services mm -hmm. uh, by uh, doing a cooperation between the government and non-governmental actors mm -hmm. uh, like uh, development organization, scientific uh, organization, uh, technical organizations, financial organizations and uh, during the conference they, were, uh, they, wi they will work uh, on different uh, sectors Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is promoting the, uh, the development of telecommunication infrastructure and services and the other one is providing information on global telecommunication trends and development mm -hmm. and of course this will help all the countries uh, who are in this uh, forum or uh, listening about it or yes. whatever 
as it will help uh, to facilitate the lives of the citizens of yes. these countries. Okay. Now, um, uh, when President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi inaugurated the event uh, this morning, he delivered a speech in which he said that the conference reflects the progress of human civilization and that Egypt will have its active input on issues on the agenda of the conference, which will contribute in mobilizing the fifth generation of technological networks, including platforms, communication satellites, and this will accelerate the achievement of sustainable development goals. How do you read such statements? Uh, as I told you uh, before, I believe that e Egypt now has an important role uh, all over the world. And, uh, and all the world see Egypt in a different place. Uh, also, the government start uh, to do uh, or to generalize the digital uh, uh, transformation. Mm. It will be not only in the main or the smart cities, but it will be all over Egypt. Mm. Uh, so uh, that will facilitate uh, the citizens' lives. Mm. Uh, this uh, can be done in many, many things and many projects start to, uh, to be done. Uh, first, uh, all of us see the tablets that w have been used uh, uh, during the campaign of the uh, of virus C. Mm -hmm. uh, it ha all our data are on the system now uh, by, um, by using the digital transformation. Yes, and also the uh, the data of forty seven different uh, government associations. Yes, has been shared on the national digital converter G two G, government to government. Okay, and also there are one hundred over one hundred uh, services which can be accessed on the Egyptian government portal. Okay, uh, this uh, will help also will be uh, help the Egyptian citizens. Uh, in 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 many ways, as uh, for example, uh, when our data will be on the system, it, uh, I enter using my the portal or mobile application, or even if I did I'm not trained enough, I will go, go to the mail or uh, or some sent uh, services. Uh, there will be places that will help us. All our data, uh, all uh, tests. So this is tests. Then, you mean the digital transformation yeah. here in Egypt. Yes. This is the experience we're going through. Yeah. Okay. And th this is this happened all over the world. Many yes. countries uh, have this. Uh, for example, Dubai, uh, New York, uh, Tokyo. Many countries uh, have this. Uh, but I believe the the issue requires some awareness to the public how they can benefit from such digital transformation. Uh, they start, uh, not the public, uh, the, government. Start, uh, the government start to, uh, to train 50,000 uh, trainees mm -hmm. that will work in the, govern, uh, in the new cities mm -hmm. because all the, the government will be at that place. Mm -hmm. So 50,000 uh, trainees will be uh, full trained next year, by, the, by next year, mm -hmm. whom will help uh, the people. And also uh, the government will try to... Uh, to train the people, uh, this uh, the service, service uh, yes. yeah, uh, it should be trained because uh, it will help uh, the the people and the citizens as much as nobody. I believe can it's going to take some time. Then we're going to get used to it. Like for example, mm -hmm. the the payment role for for uh, government employees yes. um, uh, when when it was transformed into a bank account and payroll cards. It took some time for the employees to, to get used to receiving their payroll or their payment uh, from the ATM machines. And then, of course, things got <laughs> Of course, uh, it will take time, but that's because uh, that's why they will do a mail or uh, uh, some offices to help uh, people who will not be able or still in the process uh, to mm. learn how to deal with uh, this service. But it will be very beneficial uh, for them. And also, it will uh, help to, uh, to reduce the manipulation. People before manipulate the system. Uh, yes. For example, uh, in, uh, for the, to have uh, food supply, yes. uh, the government supply some people with food. Yes. Uh, so maybe they took uh, from two different governors. They have yes, uh, yes. The, the, with the same card. With the mm. same card from two different governments. Mm. So uh, that's. Uh, mm -hmm.
That's one way of, of preventing uh, such yeah, manipulation. Yeah. Yes. And of course, Bardo, it, it will help uh, people because uh, they will see, uh, yani when I go to, uh, to a hospital, all my data, all my reports, all my blood tests, all my, or whatever, it will be in front of the doctor on the system, wherever, on the system, mm. wherever hospital I go to. Yes. Uh, also, it, it will have a system to, if I, I will, uh, I want to renew my ID, uh, my, uh, my uh, car license or something, it will be on the system that it will help me to remind, mm. it, as if it, it is a reminder. Yes, yes. Um, now, uh, Mermin hosting the conference in Egypt will bolster the Egyptian telecommunications sector at both regional and international levels especially as spectrum issues have important political and economic dimensions. From your own point of view, what are the political and economic benefits for Egypt uh, from hosting such an event? Actually, one of the main powers of any country is measured by the fastest way to know the information and, of course, uh, to have a secure way for the information, mm -hmm. to, be, uh, to maintain the security for the information. Mm. Egypt nowadays is uh, focusing more on the uh, Egyptian citizen. Mm -hmm. That's the main focus of the government. Uh, and it has a great effect on the political. The, is, the Egyptian citizen will have a great effect on the political and uh, uh, economical level. Mm. And this will reflect on the country, of course. Yes. Uh, for example, by analyzing the data, uh, after we are, as I told you, we are using uh, digital transformation. Yes. So by analyzing the data, I can predict which profession uh, is not uh, is decreasing or uh, not. For example, مثلا, uh, after years, we will not have farmers. The number mm -hmm. of farmers decreased. So the uh, the government will have a pre this value, this uh, data, and try to find solution to solve this problem. Mm -hmm. uh, also, if I, if I have the data for students uh, entering to the college mm -hmm. or universities, uh, I'll, f I'll have the data and uh, try to find out which universities uh, uh, students want to enter and which not. So why they don't want to enter to these universities? Is it far away from their home and there is no transportation? Uh, does the professors so uh, recognizing the problems and finding solutions yeah. for them before they, they happen before they happen or yes. even if they are happening still okay yes. but, but this system uh, makes uh, makes the government to know the solution before they are predicting uh, yeah, the, 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 the yes. potential problems yes. if we may say um, I mean as the country um, um, as Egypt is the host country of the conference it will share the conference activities uh, which further reiterates uh, Egypt's role in fostering international cooperation in rapidly evolving technology sectors such as satellite broadband, wireless communication system, digital broadcasting systems, and other emerging uh, technologies. So how do you see Egypt, uh, um, Egypt's role um, in the communication field recently? Uh, recently, Egypt has a great role in the communication mm. as it started building uh, the new force generation cities, yes. uh, the, sm uh, the, uh, the smart cities. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the smart cities? They are cities that, ha that mainly dependent on the IT infrastructure, information technology infrastructure, and will help, uh, will focus more on the human and it will facilitate uh, the citizen life. Mm -hmm. uh, last last years uh, or mainly uh, or till now, w uh, when you go to the traffic you, uh, to uh, renew uh, the license, the driver license, you go to many uh, many people, stages, to yes. many stages. Mm -hmm. But by this way, you can even uh, renew uh, the license from being home through mm -hmm. your portal, and I I and the system will be sure that you are the one who wants that service yes and also um, the Ministry of Communication has implemented a number of important projects it started to launch uh, the fourth generation mobile and also national plan for high-speed net uh, internet mm -hmm. uh, if we asked how uh, will the Egyptian citizen benefit from that uh, 
it, it will be uh, easy for the government associate associations to deal with the citizens mm -hmm. and provide the possible services, especially after the prediction of problem, mm -hmm. as we said before. Yes. Uh, and also conducting surveys and analyzing data to know the reasons of, the, of some problems that we will face. Yes. Um, Nirmin, uh, Minister of Telecommunication, uh, when he addressed the gathering um, uh, this morning, said that uh, issues on the agenda of the meeting are of high importance and called for cooperation to reach agreement on topics of mutual interest. How can the, um, uh, the people uh, participating in, um, in, in this very important event, which uh, include representatives from companies around the world, high-level uh, delegations, uh, and experts in the telecommunication sector, how can they all come up with an agenda uh, and recommendations by the end of uh, the, the event, which will take around <laughs> a month, mm -hmm. and uh, make that in the best use or best interest of uh, the participating countries? Um, they may be develop uh, a strategy to determine the criteria and determine the projects that needs to be implemented in new cities. Mm. Uh, also accelerate the implementation of other infrastructure projects, mm. as the infrastructure is really very important. Mm. Uh, also, it will be uh, uh, accelerate the launch of new projects to develop the infrastructure. Uh, through assigning a timetable for the launch of uh, 5G. Mm. Uh, with regard to the government marketing file, uh, the current e-government portal will be developed yes. uh, to become a tool that facilitates the citizens' life mm. and the access to all government service in various uh, ministries and sectors. Okay. Well, um, Mrs. Nirmin Meher Edward, uh, Professor of Telecommunication, thank you very much for being with us today in Women's World. We enjoyed very much talking to you and, of course, highlighting the importance of this very important conference taking place in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt. Thank you very it's much. It's my pleasure to be with you and on Nile TV. Thank, thank you, you for you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this edition of Women's World. I'm Hala al signing off for now.